Thank you very much, Danae. In Manhattan, the jury will be back uh, deliberating former President Donald Trump's criminal trial, that uh, uh, so-called hush, mo hush, hush money trial. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, the jurors deliberated for four and a half hours after hearing the judge's instructions. Leslie Spoon is here with more details about what we can expect today as they're meeting yet again. Yeah, and those instructions went on for an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and they want to hear them again. Yeah. Uh, because in an hour and a half, I mean, I'm sure yeah. they probably missed something and they're probably going to go back and forth for a while. It's 34 counts, guys. Mm -hmm. And before the end, the end of the day yesterday, the jury did ask to rehear testimony from two, two key witnesses as well. That will happen today. Those 12 jurors will have testimony read back to them from David Pecker, the former National Enquirer editor, and Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer. This does include passages related to that 2015 meeting that the two had with Trump to discuss an alleged scheme to kill negative stories ahead of the 2016 election. And during his instructions yesterday, Judge Juan Merchan told the jury to set aside any opinions and bias in reaching their verdict, and it must be unanimous. Trump does face 34 counts of falsifying business records, which prosecutors say was done to hide reimbursements to Cohen after he paid adult film star Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep quiet about an alleged sexual affair before the 2016 election. They have to come up with a verdict on each of these charges, so it could take a while. Nobody knows what the crime is, because there's no crime. Nobody knows what the crime is. The DA didn't name the crime. They don't know what the crime is. That's what the problem is. It's a disgrace. This thing ought to be ended immediately. The judge ought to end it. Now, the jury has access on a laptop to the evidence in the case, but they don't have the jury instructions or testimony transcripts in the deliberation room. That's why they must um, ask if they need something reread. That's going to happen today. It's likely they'll need a lot of information reread. Former President Trump is required to be at the courthouse building during deliberations. If convicted, he could face fines and a prison sentence of up to four years. Brianna.